Hello, children. Oh, <laughs> hold on a second. All right, we are doing volume day today. And East First West 15 preparation, and like I said, almost all my side pressure stuff is peg towards peg. And speed day and volume day is with the multi spinners on the uh, two by four, two by four multi spinners. Okay, so we will cover this. Somebody, a few comments. Most people. Most people did the homework I assigned them and went to Westside Barbell and studied up on some of this stuff. 50. We already did 50. We're at 60 pounds. And some people did not go to Westside Barbell. So I'm like explaining Louis Simmons' conjugate system to you. Okay. Volume day is 80% of your one rep max. Louis says 80% of your one rep max. So if you're squatting uh, 800 pounds, you do 28 reps with like 640. I can't do 28 reps with 80% of my one rep max. I can do like a few doubles and a, a few singles. So the conversion from power lifting to uh, arm wrestling isn't quite direct. <clears throat> so I go to 80% of my one rep max. We're just warming up now. And I do as many as I can, like six, four. <clears throat> Speed day, those of you who know or did your homework, is you start with around 60% of your one rep max. You put on some bands. Why do we use bands, children? Oh, please, let's not always see the same hands, but you're correct. We use bands to overspeed the, ex the eccentrics. <laughs> Did I just do that rep with the wrong handle? We use bands to overspeed the eccentrics. Volume day, we're not doing bands. We're starting the reps from a dead stop. Speed day, we have a band. We don't go to a dead stop on the eccentric portion. Before we hit the dead stop, we reverse it. So you get a spike at the bottom of the motion when you reverse it. And then we add a dead stop at the top. So you spike it at the bottom, you hit to a dead stop. You spike the force two places. Oh, one. Two. Speed day. You're doing three to six reps as fast as you can. Volume day, you're doing reps as fast as you can. As fast as I can is pretty slow. A couple of seconds per rep. <clears throat> Using the warm up sets and I'm struggling. <laughs> I missed any of the other differences between speed day and volume day, put them in the comments. We're now up to 70. So, 80% of my one rep max on the right is uh, 90 pounds. Um, on my left, it's like 80. So, I'm working up to 90 pounds on the right, 80 pounds on the left. We're now at 70. And uh, I started setting up the camera and stuff. I started uh, at 20. So you missed a lot of the warm up reps, but it takes a while to get the camera right and get the table set up. reps on warm up because I know I can't do all the reps, all the working reps. I can't do all the reps at the working rate. So I'm just trying to get there as fast as I can and uh, uh, do as many reps as I can. That's why you have a notebook. Last time we did heavy volume day, 
it's Wednesday evening. I usually do this Wednesday morning, but uh, because of the neighbor lady. So I don't know if you can see, but on 828, I did at 90 pounds, I did one, two, and two. So five. I've been trying to, when I started this trip, I go, oh, I just do 28, like Louis said. So you can see how far away I am from 28 reps. Seven knees are done. All right. All right, working sets on the left. What do we do on 828? <laughs> I didn't get any. <laughs> I got two X's. I wrote, I did four last time, so I dropped it down to 70, and I did, I did a set of two and a set of three, so. I don't know what was going on August 28th, but it was a bad day for Uncle Todd. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Oh, they got me. They got me one time. Tied up in love, babe. You got me. Oh, and I weighed 211 pounds that day, too. Huh. Whew. I ain't gained any weight in a week. Uh oh. So I guess the weight's not going up. I guess the weight is, well, I'm not 205. That's all I can say. Seven to go. Tied up in love. You've got me. Tied up in love. You've got me. Tied up in love. All right. First set of 90 on the right. That double's feeling better. Well, that was bothering me for weeks. Man. And it only really hurt when I straightened it. It didn't really hurt if I was pulling, but boy, I couldn't point to nothing. Couldn't reach the cookie jar. But I could pull. 
Oh. All right. Well, I can't get enough of you. Whoo. Twenty-five to go. So what is that? Eight more sets of threes, and then a bonus single. Whew. the Saturday and Sunday videos, which of course you did, because you, all my children are expected to go to my channel every single day. That gun I showed you on Saturday, that forearm, that four stock worked out pretty well. We'll be bedding that this weekend, so maybe we'll do a little bonus side video about it. Not a how-to video, but maybe just like a little biography of putting that little gun together. Okay, 80. Thank you so thank you so bad. Should have looked at what I'm trying to beat. I did one, two, two. So I'm trying to beat five. I'm just gonna write that down. One, two. It's nice to, when you get a notebook, you can say, well, this is what I did last week. So you're not trying to hit like the stratosphere. I'm not trying to make it to the space station. I'm just trying to make it to the top of the Sears Tower. Just a little bit better than I did last time. Give me just a little more time. If I do three, I beat last, I beat the last attempt. I shouldn't put that kind of pressure on myself. <clears throat> Tied up in love. See the importance of warming up? I've known for years it takes me about an hour to warm up to hit like my peak level. So if you see me at East First West 15, because of course you'll see me at East First because you're gonna go to course boards and get an account. I spend an hour warming up for competition too. 
it's about, I start warming up five matches out and I really get serious three matches out. But they keep changing the rules. Sometimes they say, come down and get a microphone on when the match right before yours hits two points in either way, either two zero or two two, you know. Sometimes they say, no, you gotta get on there two matches early. And it's like, <sighs> Ryan, East first, West 15, you'd think they'd have that figured out by now. <sighs> oh, that sounded snarky. I'm not being snarky. East, the East first, West League is awesome, I love it. <sighs> At the time, the WAL was the best league we had, even though it wasn't really that good of a league. <sighs> WL wasn't very nice to Uncle Tom. East First West loves Uncle Tom. Man, they're nice. All right. Let's get a deuce. Wrapped up like a deuce. Another wrap in the night. Blinded by the light. Whew. I can get a deuce when that pin's at 90. The really devastating part is when you when you peel off eight, nine reps and you realize it's at 80 instead of 90 when you're doing right hand. better than I did on the August one. See, there's these things. There's your, there's your practice match, then there's your competition match. Your competition match is way better than your practice match because you're fully rested, you're fully caffeinated, and you got all that adrenaline going. In between your practice match or training max, and your competition max is your YouTube max. <laughs> you YouTubers know. Oh, my max bench is 300 pounds, but on YouTube I can bench 310. <laughs> well, I can't get enough of you. 90. Oh, this is set three. The power drops off like in a hurry, man. On all my volume days, it's like three, four, one, zero. <laughs> Just see. Come and do focus. I put Ken Thomas. We don't finish up volume day. Huh? Yeah, we don't finish up volume day with wrist and reverse work. At least I don't think I do. No. I just do the volume in it. I'm usually pretty, I'm usually pretty tired, pretty wore out. I'm pretty close to, ah, well, that's all she can do. Just fast. All right, blinded by the light. Let's do a deuce. 90 feels like. That's 10 reps, 18 to go. Whew. Ah, I got heat and fire grease in my eyes. water wasn't cutting it. Welcome to the high life, baby. 10 reps is the high life. Because ah. all my fans are 
CDs. No man can focus. 80. Whew. All right, let's go starboard side. Let's see what you got. Oh, September 21, not this weekend, next weekend. Children, come to Grand Prairie, Canada. Get a hold of Kyle. I think his name is pronounced Evanoff. E-V-A-N-O-F-F, -F, Grand Prairie, Canada. They're having a stellar tournament there on Saturday. And then that Sunday, they're having a barbecue and an Uncle Todd seminar. So, Uncle Todd seminars are family friendly. And if you're not careful, you might just learn something. So, Grand Prairie, Canada is absolutely spectacular this time of year. Oh, everybody's leaving the French Riviera this next weekend to come to Kyle's tournament and Uncle Todd's seminar. So it's September 1, 21, 2024, in case, this, in case this video ends up being like four years old. I don't need people showing up every year on September 21. Try that one more time. I still did three, three reps more than I did last time. Oh, that stuff right in my eye. Now, it's not explicitly stated in the West Side Barbell literature. But it's kind of implied that even missing a max still trains you. It doesn't train you as good as hitting it, which is more of a test, but your body will still adapt to that stress of missing a max. So I don't usually, I used to miss three. I used to go three failed attempts and not stop. But I was young and silly. Now it's one or two. Three failed attempts will pretty much <laughs> I'll, I'll lay on the floor and go to sleep. Right then. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Blinded by the light. 90 feels like. Let's do a deuce in the night. <sighs> That's it, kids. I don't even know if I'll try the left again, but oh, that was starting to see my dead relative. Kind of dizzy. YouTube man. try and do 28 reps at 90%, but you're happy if you do 10 or 13. East first, west 13. Oh, I'm pulling Yoshi. It's official now. We're gonna welcome 
This will be, the, I think, the second Japanese puller in East vs. West. We brought that girl over an event or two ago. Yoshi's tough, man. Yoshi's beat some big, big people. Uh, so. Evidently, I'm the, uh, the Far East Welcoming Committee for East vs. West. Welcome to the party, pal. See you later, kids. Thanks for joining.